Hi there. Today we're going to look at two Seiko machines, the Xperia Evo and the Excelsis Evo. So let's get into it. I want to just go over the main features of what both of these machines have because they are similar in that they are super automatics. They both have grinders built in right up here. They both can be adjusted, the fineness of the grind. Same thing on both of those. This one holds 10 ounces of beans. This one holds 12 ounces of beans. So the Xperia is a little bit less when it comes to that. Water tank right over here. They both hold 54 ounces of water. Virtually the same tank. Little different size, but uh, according to the stats, 54.1 ounces, 54 ounces. So they're virtually the same. Little cover that goes on each one of them, right there. These are one touch machines. They both have the carafe that does the milk for you. They both have a steam arm right here. The one on the Xperia swings out about that far. The one on the Excelsis swings out further and it's a longer steam arm. I think this is easier to use. They both have double spouts on the front and they both come off to give you taller cup clearance here. If you have a go cup that you want to put onto there, all that these do is disperse the shot that comes out of here into two spouts. That's basically what those do. Both machines have the uh, SPS system, Seiko brewing system on the front here. One way you turn it, it gives you less crema on the coffee. The other way gives you more crema. So if you want it more like an American cup of coffee, turn it to less. I don't know anybody that doesn't want crema on top of their coffee. So programmability, um, similar but not the same. I'll get into that. Bypass doser up here, bypass doser up here. Brew unit on the inside with the dregs box right there, brew unit. Heavy duty springs, heavy duty springs, same. And the dregs box is a little different shape on this, but basically same idea. You could lift both of these machines with the hinges. That's how stout those hinges are. I hear it squeaking. I must have been pushing some buttons when I was doing that. And my coworkers would say I push buttons all the time. Mm hmm All right. Now, that's basically what's the same. Size-wise, this is bigger. Stainless steel casing, stainless steel casing. Very similar there. Drip trays, uh, they have a magnetic magnet that holds them in place and this one does as well. They both have the drip tray on the front that comes off which is actually kind of there just straight up which is kind of nice. On the old machines when you opened the door the drip tray didn't come with it and as soon as you open the door you swing it open drip 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 all over the countertop or the floor. This way the drip tray comes with. All right that's what's the same. Programmable buttons on this machine, programmable buttons on this machine. This one does not have any kind of user profiles. Whatever you program into this, these uh, buttons over here is what you're going to get. Every person that walks up to it gets the same thing. Same shot. You can get into the, uh, into the menu here and there's a special menu and you can uh, actually do a special beverage, just one special beverage that you can program maybe for you. Hot milk, hot water, and steam. That's the same on this one here as well on the Excelsis. What makes the Excelsis different? Let me tell you, there is so much more in this. There are six user profiles in here. Pick your profile. I'm the star, so I had the star. I know I'm not really a star, I just wanted to say that. Now within that, I can actually program five different drinks for myself, for me and me alone, and then somebody else, that's you. Actually, this is Seiko uh, default. That's you, you're the heart. You can program a bunch of drinks within there and put the milk in there, push the button for you want a cappuccino, it's on your heart. Cappuccino, it's gonna be exactly as you programmed it for you. This one also has a timer in there with a clock which means you can set the clock to whatever the time of day is, 24 hour or the 12 hour system, and you can have it come on automatically in the morning for you. 
the Expralia does not come on for you. You have to come down, push a button, go do something else, and then come back to it. Wait for it to heat up. They both have the milk carafe, so that's the same. I think it's mostly, this one here just has so much more programmability than the Expralia. The Expralia is good. I'm not putting it down by any stretch, but if you need a lot more programming, a couple of people in the house, plus you do a lot of entertaining, I would suggest this machine here. It really, um, it's just a whole different thing. Did I mention cup warmer? It has an active cup warmer up here. This is hot. Or you can turn it off. It actually has a heating coil under there. There is no cup warmer on the Expralia. So I want to also show you the steaming power on these two different machines. Let's get in here. It has to warm up a little bit to do the steaming. I, we did a little testing. You be the judge. My thought was that this one was a little bit wetter, not quite as powerful. The wattage on these two machines is slightly different, and you can see that in the stats on the web page, and uh, it'll show you. When you don't have the carafe in here, there's a little magnetic lid that goes in here that makes it look pretty. So that's similar, just a little different configuration. Spouts that go up and down on these machines, that's the same. You can see a little bit of moisture coming out of there. And that doesn't change it really at all. All right, let's do the Expralia. Tells you it's warming up. As I was pointing out while that started to steam, they both have spouts that go up and down to if you have short cup, which is kind of nice. When you're using these machines, make sure that you do not use an oily bean. No super automatic do you want, in any super automatic, you do not want to use an oily bean. It clogs up the grinder, the brew unit, everything, and the machine will cease to function. I think that's a little drier. A little more powerful as well. On these machines, these steam arms, this is not a Panarello. This is going to give you the real deal where you have to use your techniques and you're going to get really good foam, a lot better than you would with a Panarello. So you have the, you have the, uh, you want to kind of get up in the morning, you know, rubbing your eyes, can't see straight, put the milk in there, do your own thing with this, or you can actually get a little finer tuning by using the steam arm. We found the coffee in this to come out at 193 degrees. We haven't tested the Expralia, but we probably should, and we'll post that on the uh, stats on the webpage, you know, on the video, we'll put it on there. Um, I know in the past it's not quite as hot, so I know this one's hotter. Um, that's really the basics on a crew review on these two, comparison, not a crew review, this is a comparison of the Expralia, or the uh, Expralia Evo and the Excelsis Evo by Seiko. You like the video? Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and go to the webpage to get all the rest of the stats on these machines because I can't, there isn't enough time to talk about everything that these machines have as far as features, especially this one right here. So go to the webpage, check it out, and thanks a lot for watching.